How you doing guys? Welcome to the HTML Email Developer YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Well, today we're going to go over the 10 uh, tips for landing an email developer job. Uh, number one, uh, it says uh, build a strong portfolio. Showcase your email development skills by creating a portfolio of your best work. Include examples of different email types, designs, and coding techniques. Uh, when they say different email types, they meaning uh, they meaning you should uh, start off with a promotional email, a uh, newsletter, and also a transactional um, email. Transactional email is kind of it's kind of like a receipt or something like that, or maybe a a, a birthday uh, code or something for uh, like a free burger or something like that. Uh, that's a transactional email example. Uh, I know you guys know what promotional is. Promotional is like when you get something from a, 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 a promotional discount, like from a Macy's or somebody, like 20% off. So that is a promotional discount. Newsletter is something that you sign up for, like uh, entrepreneur.com, and then they send you uh, little newsletters of different topics, subjects, or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, you want to um, add all of those different type of email templates to your portfolio. I would say do like maybe six of them. Now, landing page is optional. You can build a landing page, but I don't know if they really, hire managers really pay attention to uh, landing pages. Okay, uh, number two is uh, master HTML and CSS. HTML and CSS are the foundational coding languages for email development. Make sure you have a strong grasp of both, including responsive design techniques. So yeah, um, you're gonna have to know HTML and CSS without a doubt. Um, uh, to be honest, um, um, you gotta have to use tables as well. You have to learn tables as well because a lot of uh, uh, companies when they hire you to code uh, emails, they're using tables. Uh, it's kind of an outdated format, but it's very effective in rendering emails uh, when they send them out to different clients, such as Yahoo, AOL, uh, what else? Um, Gmail, you know, iPhones, uh, Androids. So, and uh, also you want to make sure they're responsive, meaning uh, when you pull them up on your phones, whether it's an iPhone or iOS or Android, that uh, the email would render right in the center and look per picture perfect right in your on your phone uh, in the email. So that's what responsive design techniques means. The next one is uh, keep up the industry trends. Stay up to date on the latest trends and innovations in email development, including new tools, technologies, and best practices. So you want to know what type of, uh, you know, uh, trends that they have, uh, you know, in the email development industry. Um, do I see any trends now going on? Uh, not to my knowledge. Uh, I mean, maybe they are, but at my company where I work at, I'm not seeing uh, too many trends. Uh, it's kind of like the old-fashioned way of doing things. Um but, uh, you know, as far as tools, you know, you could use uh, what I use mostly is uh, Litmus. Um, I use um, ACM, I said Adobe Creative Management. I use Dreamweaver, Photo, I uh, use uh, Photoshop. And I use, also use uh, Adobe XD sometimes to open up uh, my images. So you want to uh, learn all those tools if you can. You know, if you could uh, go to Udemy or somewhere, take a course on all of those uh, again, just look at, uh, when you're looking up your job, just look at the job descriptions and see what they're asking for the requirements. And if you see, uh, begin to see a trend of, uh, the same, uh, software tools that they need, then you might want to start, uh, going to Udemy and, and try to uh, look at those courses and see if you could, uh, you know, gain knowledge on, uh, how to use those tools. The next one is, uh, network, attend industry events, connect with other email developers on social media and provide and professional network sites and consider joining email development groups or forums um i'm with this one email uh group i think it's html email developers on uh facebook not a big group um not a lot of activity as i expected it to be uh but it's um uh, it's still a group and there's still some things you probably can learn from that group um i know the salesforce uh group is they're, they're pretty huge, you know, and they have a lot of knowledge on those pages. But again, um, you can also go to have, uh, 
you know, go to uh, meetup.com and uh, there's people that, uh, you know, you probably can meet up with, uh, I, I won't say, I won't say email developers, but it's definitely Salesforce groups that meet up. So, but uh, again, you can just go to those different sites and just try to find what you can. Unfortunately, it's not a lot of information out there uh, on the uh, internet about uh, HTML email developers. Okay, let's go on to the next. Learn email marketing platforms. Familiarize yourself with popular email marketing platforms like MailChimp, Constant Contact, or Campaign Monitor. Many companies require candidates to have experience with these platforms. Um, as far as email development, I don't think they require you, but it is. it would be an asset. Uh, and it also probably helped you get paid more money if you had the, the, those skills. Um, I've been working with MailChimp since 2012 while I ran this entertainment site, urban entertainment site in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And um, I built up my list. I had like maybe a thousand some subscribers, but I used to send out different campaigns or different events on a weekly basis. So that's kind of how I learned how to do uh, email marketing with MailChimp. But again, it, it will... Um, it help you if you had those uh those skills though. It will enhance your chances of getting hired. Uh, if you have those email marketing skills along with uh, email development skills, have attention to detail. Email development requires a high degree of attention to detail to ensure emails render correctly across all devices and email clients. That is true. You want to make sure that you go over uh your project thoroughly. Um. To be honest, when I first started uh, for my company, um, I would code the emails, but I would take it, take it for granted that, uh, oh, I, I went over everything thoroughly. I did what I was supposed to do. I took my time and everything. Uh, didn't make a lot of errors, but made more than I care to talk about. Uh, so once what I started doing was I would just go ahead and uh, finish my HTML code, and then I would go over it like maybe twice. I would check over everything. I would compare the spreadsheet to my HTML code because we, we go off of the directions of the spreadsheet. And I would just compare the two back and forth. And I would do it one time, and then I will do it a second time. And uh, since I've been doing it, uh, you know, uh, self-checking uh, twice, uh, I've minimized my errors. So now I barely get any errors. Uh, most of the time, they're just asking me to update something or change something, and that's about it. And if I do get an error, that's because I, I kind of copied something from my old template to the new template, but I forgot to change that one little, one little code. But uh, yeah, you want to make sure you to you really pay attention to detail because, uh, man, these email templates in the emails is very, very, how can I say, timid, very, very fragile. So it's easy to um, if you don't do the code right, it's easy. It's easy for it to come out, uh, you know, discombobulated in your e email uh, inbox. Customize your applications. Customize your application materials. It's cover letter, cover letter, resume, portfolio for each job you apply to. Research the company and tailor your materials to highlight how your skills and experience align with their needs. Yes, um, you want to put all your keywords uh, in your and in skills into your uh, resume or application. Uh, that's called like optimizing your your resume. Uh, for keyword search, you know, so uh, that's what they're talking about. Um, all these little keywords like email marketing, email development, uh, email design, uh, what have you. You want to put all that, all those keywords in your resume. So therefore, when they do a resume search, those keywords will pop up. Uh, and maybe if you're the one to have those keywords in your resume, maybe it'll pop up sooner than uh, your competitors. So that's why they will want you to make your Cater your resume to the job that you're trying to, uh, you know, uh, submit your resume to. So they will align together. Be a team player. Email development often involves working with cross-functional -function teams, including designers, marketers, and project managers. Yes, I speak about this all the time, that um, you're just not going to come in here and put your head down in code. No, you're going to have to talk to people. You're going to have to talk to, like, several different people. Uh, so, to be honest, you have to learn those skills too to communicate with people, and, and sometimes it could be frustrating. Sometimes it's be it's miscommunication between the 
you know the, the team members but still you got to be professional and um you have to talk to these people you know like i said you know designers i talk to designers i talk to um project managers i talk to my manager i talk to the people that create the workflow uh for the trigger emails so i mean i talk to like several different people uh on a daily basis so this is a skill that you know that's not really talked about much as far as being an email developer but yes you're gonna have to learn how to work with people communicate with people do solve a uh, problem solving with people and you know just be a good uh, team player overall Prepare for interviews. Research the company. Practice your responses to common interview questions and be ready to demonstrate your email development skills. Yes. Those common questions, you can learn those easy. Uh, a lot of times they're asking the same questions. So once you learn uh, what questions they're, they're, they're asking, uh, you can just go back and study, you know, because sometimes they, they would ask me questions that I didn't understand because you know I was I was new in email development, so I once I get out get out once my interview was over I would go research that on Google like and what's the answer for it you know, um, too bad we didn't have GP, uh, Chat GPT right back then but anyway, uh, so yeah I would uh, study those questions and um, you know uh, that's kind of how I end up getting my current job I I looked at one question it asked me a question about problem solving and what did I do. And I I looked at this question like almost a day before my interview. It was a long answer. And I, I said, okay, I will paraphrase. But then when I answered the question, I almost answered it verbatim from what I read on, on the Internet. And I think that's what got me the job, you know. Um, I, I couldn't believe I remembered almost every word of that, that, that answer. But I think that's what ended up landing me the job. Because I, I was struggling before to answer that question in interviews. But... uh when um, I answered this question, it just went, out, went good for me, and uh, I ended up getting the job. Showcase your passion. Employers want to see that you are passionate about email development. Share your enthusiasm for the industry and your willingness to learn and grow in th this role or the role. Yes, I, th I, think, I think, and that was another thing that got me hired because you got to realize, guys, they only asked me five questions, five questions, 15 minutes. I couldn't believe it. I said, is this real? So me and a friend of mine had to do research on the company because we didn't know if it was real or not. Because only five questions. But that question I told you I answered was a good a good answer to. And then uh, they, they just saw my uh, ambition to want to learn. And that question that I answered, it had something to do with, you know, being able to take initiative on my own and being able to learn and problem solve. And uh, so that's kind of... That helped me get the job as well. So, I mean, if you show some type of ambition and passion, now I wouldn't say passion is kind of a strong word because passion for email development, uh, let's be serious. But a passion to willing to learn and, and are willing to, uh, you know, work with others and, you know, willing to get the job done. If you get an opportunity, uh, then I think that's what you should really uh, take serious and keep in mind. Again, guys, uh, I went through all of these uh, just to, you know, try to help you guys, you know, understand uh, how you can go about uh, landing an email developer job. Uh, again, it's uh, 10 tips for landing an email developer job. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Take care.